Let us pray. God, our loving Father, we bless and thank you for Jesus, your beloved Son. We thank you for the precious work of your Holy Spirit. We thank you that you have given us life that is unending in Christ Jesus. We thank you that we are born from above. This life which you have gifted to us by grace and your faith you have given to us to rely on Jesus daily, Father. Bless us, teach us, lead us, help us every day as we walk with Jesus. Jesus, thank you for all that you are and all that you have done for us. Heal our hearts and our minds. Equip us with the perseverance and faith and especially the grace to endure and to overcome by the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we open our Bibles to 2 Peter. That is where we are. If you remember, last week we spoke about self-control. Now we continue. But just read from 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 5 onwards. But also for this very reason, yeah. giving all diligence, yes. add to your faith yeah. virtue, yeah. to virtue knowledge. And because you have received the knowledge of God, which is the working of God's spirit in your heart, because you have heard the truth, the truth has penetrated deep down into your spirit. And now you're living out that word daily, knowing who God is. God is a father. And God has sent his beloved son, Jesus. And Jesus is the one whom we look to every day. Amen? Amen. He is not only our role model, but he is the person that we aspire to be here on earth. He is the first fruit. He is the high priest. He is the great I am. And our greatest desire is to follow him and to become like him. Amen? Amen. So that knowledge, which is the work of the Holy Spirit in our heart, of knowing that we are yoked with Jesus, knowing that we live with Jesus, knowing that his presence is in our life, knowing that we are his house, knowing that he has purchased us by his blood, and this body and this life is not ours but his. Amen? Amen. Knowing this, read, we are knowledgeable of these truths. To knowledge, yeah. self-control. Yeah, so that's the reason. There is the grace of self-control. Amen? Amen. And that is a gift and fruit of the Holy Spirit of God. That it is God's work happening in us. Amen? Amen. And self-control is that fruit of the Holy Spirit in us. Why? Because we are aware of who God the Father is and what Jesus has done for us on the cross and how he teaches us that we need to be self-controlled. Amen? Amen. And this self-control now leads to the next thing. Read. To knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. See, this morning we will speak about this. To persevere, basically to endure, not to give up. Okay? To endure trials and difficulties and extreme conditions. Basically to understand that we have to learn to be patient and endure and to be steadfast. Knowing and understanding that Jesus is at work in us by the power and the work of his Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. That is why. See, it's the knowledge that leads to self-control. And now that we are controlled, we know we are not going to react. Amen? Amen. See, now we are willing to be tested, to be tried, to go through troubles. But one thing we know. Jesus is with us. Amen? Amen. Because if you see John chapter 16 verse 33. Read. These things I have spoken to you. Yeah. That in me you may have peace. Amen. In, in Jesus we have peace. peace. You see. We are yoked with him. We are one with him. We abide in him. We rest in him. We are complete in him. In Christ Jesus we have peace. Because Jesus is our peace. Amen. Amen. And now what happens? In this world you will have troubles. See? The storm will come, the wind will blow, the rains will come, the water will rise. But you have built your house, I have built my house on the rock. Amen? Amen. Who is Jesus. So there will be trials, there will be tribulations, but we have the knowledge of God. And who it is who has given us this call. And this is a heavenly call. Amen? Amen. And we know that there have been forerunners before us. Jesus ran and all the saints ran before us. Amen? Amen? And we are running the same course. But then how do we run? 
knowing that Jesus is our peace. Amen. Amen. In Jesus we have peace. peace. In the world you will have tribulations. tribulations. But be of good cheer. Ah, why are you of good cheer? Not because you are suffering. You are not of good cheer because you are suffering. You are of good cheer because Jesus is with you and strengthening you and building you and making you what he wants you to be through that. Amen. Amen. Trials will come. Sufferings will come. Testing will be there. But your character is being built and you are learning to endure now. You are becoming stronger and stronger in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, once you understand that, then you know that this trial, this suffering, this temptation, this test... All this is happening. Yes, it's for real. But the truth is Jesus is with me and he's building me to become more and more like him in and through all these things. Amen? Amen. He is my peace. Yes. So I am of good cheer. Amen. Read. In the world you will have tribulation, yeah. but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen? Amen? He has overcome the world. So even we will overcome the world. So what do we do every day? Okay. What do we do? How do we endure? How do we remain steadfast? How do we allow the Spirit of God who has gifted us the fruit of self-control? How do we discipline ourselves every day? The Bible tells us we should run this course. How? Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 and 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, Yes. Let us lay aside every weight yeah. and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And how do we do it? Read. And let us run with endurance yeah. the race that is set before us, yeah. looking unto Jesus. See, that's the key. You persevere, I persevere, we endure anything and everything because our eyes are fixed on Jesus. Jesus. Amen? Amen. Because we know he has yoked himself with us. Because we know that he says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Because we know that he has gone before us. Amen? Amen. So we know somebody who has gone before us, who has overcome, is the one who is teaching us, leading us, guiding us, encouraging us, building us to become more like him. So we rely on his faithfulness. Amen? Amen. So every day we look unto Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. Amen? Amen. See, he is the manner of life. His truth has been imparted to us and he has gifted us his knowledge. And what is the truth that has come to our hearts? That we have a high priest who has gone beyond the veil. Amen. Amen. And now he has torn the veil for us to come into the Holy of Holies every day. Amen. Amen. That is why the Bible says, look unto Jesus. And what do we do? Every day looking unto Jesus. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19. Read. This hope we have. Yeah, this hope we have. And what is the hope we have? As an anchor of the soul. Can you see? This hope we have as the anchor of our soul. soul. Amen? Amen? What is the anchor of our soul? Read. Both sure and steadfast yeah. and which enters the presence behind the veil. Amen? Amen. And what is that? Read verse 18. What is that hope we have? That by two immutable things yeah. in which it is impossible for God to lie, yeah. we might have strong consolation yeah. who have fled for refuge to See? lay hold... We have fled for refuge to Jesus. Amen? Amen. So how can we overcome the world? By fleeing towards Jesus every day for refuge. So what do we say? You are my stronghold. You are my shield. You are my deliverer. You are the mighty one. You are my warrior. You are the great I am in whom I take refuge. Under your wings I am safe and secure in the rock of all ages. And your banner over me is love. Amen? Amen. Can you see? That's exactly what David did in the Old Testament. Okay, You must understand, he made God his shield. See, That is where safety comes. That is why he could you know, be so persevering, he could be so enduring, no matter what came to his life. That is why he could say, Psalm 27 verse 1 to 5, read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah. Whom shall I fear? Amen. Can you see? Whom shall I fear? Why? Read. The Lord is the strength of my life. Amen. Then? Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. When the wicked came against me yeah. to eat up my flesh, yeah. my enemies and foes, yeah. they stumbled and fell. Why? Though an army may encamp around me. Can you see? Though an army may encamp around me. My heart shall not fear. I love that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> my heart will not fear. fear. I will endure. I will wait patiently. You know why? Because my eyes are somewhere else. Read the next verse. 
दो वॉर मे राइज अगेंस्ट मी इन दिस आई विल बी कॉन्फिडेंट आई लव दिस आई विल नॉट फियर and in this i will be confident and what is my confidence one thing i seek of the lord amen amen that i may dwell in the house of the lord and gaze on the beauty of the lord and under his wings i find my shelter amen amen there that is the one thing that gives us the grace ability strength to overcome every day running to refuge to jesus christ of nazareth amen, amen. and abiding under his wings and staying there no matter what is the storm outside no matter what is beating outside no matter what is happening outside but in the inside oh blessed be the name of the lord amen, amen. you and i have our minds and our hearts and our whole inner being covered under the blood of jesus christ we are at the feet of christ we are bowing there and we are saying you are the one will i look to because you endured patiently you were perseverant and you suffered all things and did the father's will by his grace and i will do the same amen amen i will have you as my strength and my delight amen amen so we can endure and that is why we can say you see i will not fear and in this i will have confidence what is that read the fourth verse one thing i have desired of the lord yeah that will i seek amen that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life yeah to behold the beauty of the lord yeah. and to inquire in his temple amen for in the time of trouble yeah. he shall hide me in his pavilion that is exactly what we need to do every day amen amen run to that pavilion run to that safety run to that abiding place run 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 to that refuge that is where our hope is in the presence of the living god amen amen and where we know jesus is a high priest amen amen he knows what we are going through he gives us the grace to endure all things because he is gone through all things as a man amen, amen. that's why the bible says in hebrews chapter 2 verse 17 and 18 Therefore in all things yeah he had to be made like his brethren then that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God yeah to make propitiation for the sins of the people then for in that he himself has suffered being tempted so he, he is able to aid those who are tempted amen amen see my strength my defense my rock is Christ Jesus so i will run to him every day amen amen and i know that i'm called from heaven that's the next verse therefore holy brother in chapter 3 partakers of heavenly calling consider the apostle and high priest of our confession jesus christ of nazareth who was faithful to him who appointed him amen amen got me and then it says you are the house and jesus rules and reigns over us amen amen so we have to run we have to run to jesus every day so we have to say i will not fear i will be confident i will endure i will patiently wait i will persevere through testing trials and troubles not by my strength but by the strength of jesus christ of nazareth amen amen say he will give me the strength every day he will work his will in me and in this i have confidence that's why chapter 3 verse 6 says read but christ as a son over his own house yeah. whose house we are yeah if we hold fast the confidence Amen. and the rejoicing of the hope yeah. firm to the end got it we hold on with confidence see what does it say but christ as a son over his house whose house we are that is the church and a believer okay if we hold fast to the confidence that's the confidence that david had I can go into the presence of God. One thing I seek after there can be war outside, there can be this, there can be enemies. But one thing I seek after, I will run to the stronghold. Where to seek the face of God? Amen. Amen. Because there I am built. There I receive a word from Him. There I receive my consolation. There I receive my hope. There I am filled with love. There I am renewed. There I learn to endure, and I'm encouraged, and I come out back into the world. Amen. Amen. Much stronger. See, so I can face the trial. I can face things because of what I receive in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. See, in the presence of the Lord. 
and it is there that I need to go. I need to put my fears there and I need to get my confidence from Jesus. Amen? Amen. See, that's why the Bible says, okay, read that sixth verse. But Christ as the Son... Over his own house, yeah. whose house we are, yeah. if we hold fast the confidence yeah. and the rejoicing of the hope, firm to the end. That is endurance. That is perseverance. Amen? Amen. Why are we holding on to the end? Because he is holding us. Amen. 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 Can you see? Because he is faithful. He is holding us. So we hold on. Amen? Amen. You cannot hold on without him holding you. He holds us, so we hold on. Amen? Amen. Then the Bible says, today if you hear his voice. See? And that is today. Today is every day. Every day. Every day. Every day we go back to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Today if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. And hold on. Today. 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 Every day is today. And that's why the 14th verse says, read. Chapter 3. For we have become partakers of Christ. Can you see? We are partakers now with the life of Christ. Amen? Amen? Because we are holding on to our confidence. We are partakers with Jesus Christ. So we are partakers of heavenly calling. We are partakers of his life. We are partakers of his spirit. We are partakers of his faith. And we are partakers of all that God wanted to give Jesus and gave Jesus. And in and through Jesus now is given unto us. Amen? Amen. We are partakers. We inherit everything of heaven. In and through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? So we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. We are more than conquerors. And we know every day we are partaking heavenly calling. But with heavenly calling we are partaking heavenly life. So, 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 so. We are overcoming this world. And we are enduring. That joy we have. Even in trial, tribulation, suffering and pain. Amen? Amen. Because we have Jesus. And his life in us and through us. Amen? Amen. So we are partakers. Read. Read that verse. For we have become partakers of Christ. Yeah. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Can you see? It's not only important to start well. But it's important to go through and end Amen. well. Amen? Amen. And what is that? Every day no matter what happens to our life. And fear grips us. Immediately our confidence is in the Lord. Amen? Amen. So what do we say at that time? My confidence is in the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He has called me. He has set me apart. He has chosen me. He has called me unto his son. He has revealed Jesus to my soul. And Jesus, you lived on earth. You overcame everything by the power and the work of the Holy Spirit. And we share the same spirit now, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I will overcome because I am yoked to you. And all that is there in you has been given unto me by faith. Amen? Amen. So I can endure till the end. end. So what is the truth that you believe? So when there is testing, trial and troubles, what you hold on to is the truths of the knowledge of God, the Father, in Christ Jesus by the working of the Holy Spirit on your soul and my soul. Amen? Amen. And this is what we have to do every day. day. Read. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Then? While it is said, today if you will hear his voice. Yeah, don't harden your hearts. hearts. So go into the courts. Go into the presence of the Lord every day. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 to 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest yeah. who has passed through the heavens. Yeah. Jesus, the Son of God, Amen. let us hold fast our confession. Yes. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses. Amen. I love that. Jesus sympathizes with our weaknesses. He knows we are weak, but he also knows that he is strong enough to hold us. Amen. Amen. I mean, he holds the entire universe. He is the great I am. All things were created for him. All things were created in him and for him. Amen. Amen. So the creator of the earth is saying, I'll hold you. Don't worry. I know because I came down as a man. I know what is trial. I know what is testing. I know what is trouble. I know what is temptation. I know what is suffering. But I've called you to persevere because I'm building you just like as I was. Amen? Amen. And God is conforming us into the likeness of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen? Amen. And this should be our desire every day to run to Him. To run to Him. 
and to desire him and to want him and to pray to God the Holy Spirit every day conform me to the likeness of Jesus in and through this you have given me the fruit of self control now may i be perseverant seeking longing desiring running the race looking unto Jesus oh holy spirit of god teach me oh holy spirit of god strengthen me oh holy spirit of god equip me oh holy spirit of god work in me and carve me to the likeness of Jesus Christ amen amen say that should be a heart's desire and we should persevere through hardships because god the father jesus and the holy spirit knows our weaknesses amen amen and jesus was sent for our weaknesses he died for our weaknesses amen amen so that we become strong amen, amen. read for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses yeah. but was in all points tempted as we are yeah. yet without sin amen yet without sin, sin. then let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace i love this let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy yeah. and find grace to help in time of need amen amen in time of need so whenever there is a difficult time whenever there is a testing time whenever there is a persecuting time hold on to the faith in christ jesus, jesus and look at his manner of life amen that is why the bible tells us in 2 timothy chapter 3 verse 12 Yes and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus See all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution Amen will suffer persecution persecution but what does Paul say now to Timothy read verse 10 But you have carefully followed my doctrine Can you see you have carefully followed my teaching okay so you have known the truths Truth. what i have been telling you you have been knowing the truths about who god is yes. and it has worked in paul's life amen amen now see what does he say those doctrines those teaching what does it lead to manner of life amen the manner of life and the manner of life is look to jesus and become like jesus that's why paul says i am like him you become like me Amen. He dared say that. Why? Because he knows that the spirit that is working in Christ is working in him, and he knows that the spirit that is working in Paul will work in Timothy also. Amen. Amen. So he tells him, "Don't fear. Yeah, look to that doctrine and teaching of God that was given unto me. It's worked in my life. It will work in you too. Amen. Amen. Believe. Now see. Read further. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, yeah? manner of life, purpose, purpose faith." faith long suffering yeah love yeah perseverance can you see you're perseverant why because you're holding on to jesus and his ways of teaching amen amen how do we know that read further persecutions yeah. afflictions yeah. which happened to me at antioch yeah. at iconium at lystra yeah what persecutions i endured but now see how i endured read and out of them all the lord delivered me amen amen <laughs> See, amen. Amen. That is the secret. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is the one who keeps me. The Lord Jesus is the one who saves me. Amen. Amen. That is the teaching that I want you to hold on to this morning. Don't try to do things on your strength and might. But look to Jesus and know one thing, he is faithful. He sympathizes with me. He knows what I'm going through and I have to run and take refuge under Jesus's wings and it is there that i am safe in the cliff in the rock of all ages and he is the one who strengthens me and he says i am with you i'll deliver you i'll save you you continue running your race you endure don't worry i am with you i will give you the strength to endure i will give you the strength to overcome because i am your peace amen amen got it the lord will deliver me Amen. Amen. And that is why he says yes all who desire to live godly lives in Christ Jesus will Amen. suffer. Why? Because the Lord will deliver me. The Lord will save me. The Lord will keep me. So I will continue in the things that I have learned. Amen. Amen. Now see the next verse. Read verse 13 and 14. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but you are not like that amen amen now read the 14th verse but you must continue in the things which you have learned yeah and been assured of yeah you must continue don't worry and you are assured of these things because you have seen it in the lord 
you have seen it in all those who follow the Lord. And now you will see it in you also. Amen. Amen. See, look unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy of being with the Father was willing to go through the cross. Amen. Amen. Now read. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and being assured of. Yeah. Knowing from whom you have learned them. Yeah, and from childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that a man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen? Amen. And the good work is God is at work in us. Amen. And he will help us to endure, persevere and overcome because of Jesus Christ at work in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we bless and thank you for Jesus, your beloved son. We thank you that by the power and the work of the Holy Spirit, we have the truths carved on our heart. Our eyes are open to the truths of who you are, Father. And what a beautiful call you have given to us in Christ Jesus. That you have separated us. You have made us holy by declaring us holy in Christ Jesus. By declaring us saints in Christ Jesus. By declaring us righteous in Christ Jesus. And we are what you say. And you have given us the faith to believe and to see the work of the Holy Spirit deep down in our hearts. And Jesus is our peace. He is the rock in whom we take refuge. He is the one whom we go to every day. Because he sympathizes with us. He strengthens us in our weaknesses. And he helps us overcome. And we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And we are no more condemned. So we will endure hardships. Because the Lord will deliver us from all the hardships. For the glory of the Father, Jesus will do this in us and through us by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.